Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to compare Cadian Life to all of both open source and free video editors. We're going to look at some of the most important parts, not all of them. So let's get started immediately with the style. I think this is an important video, but it was a lot of work to record and edit. Do you want me to compare more video editors? Leave a like and write a comment saying so if that's the case. That ought to motivate me to make another video. In Olive we can go to Tools Preferences to change in the tab appearance. The theme from Olive Dark to Olive Light, Native and Native Light icons. I count this as three themes. That's because the final one simply inverts the color of the icons and nothing else. Let's check out Olive Light. For doing so we have to restart Olive. I would call this a minor inconvenience. Let's try the third option, Native. And we're gonna roll with this for now. In Cadian Live you can actually change the color themes without restarting. So let's check out Breeze, uh, Norway. In total there are 13 color themes, Oxygen Cold, and there are also styles which change the style. Breeze is the default, Windows Vista is broken, Windows is very retro, and then there's Fusion which is kind of okay. We're gonna go with the default Breeze, and we're gonna continue with this. Next, let's compare configurability regarding keyboard shortcuts and mouse scroll wheel controls. And I'm going to import a clip into both of the applications. Oh, and Cadian Life decided to crash. By the way, this is unstable beta of Cadian Life and this is unstable alpha of Olive, so nothing is fair or stable or anything. But I wanted to look at the li what? K come on. Okay, is it just the file you don't like? All right, I had to restart the computer and fiddle around with config files, deleting them. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know what, what was the cause, but now I can finally import a clip without Cadian Life crashing anymore. So we're going to compare configurability regarding keyboard shortcuts and scroll wheel shortcuts. So let's go to Settings, Configure Shortcuts in Cadian Life and Tools, Preferences in Olive. In Cadian Life, we have a search. For example, Import does not work. Add, perhaps? Yes, add clip. In Olive, in the keyboard tab, let's search for import. There we go, import is control I. Canyon Life doesn't have a default assignment. Let's go for something different, like marker. So Canyon Life has the add marker function. Let's set this to S. And I get a warning that this is already assigned to something else. Selection tool. Let's reassign anyways. And OK. So now, with S, nothing happens. All right, so clip markers, add marker. I, I don't get it. I guess that feature is just broken. Hey, how are you? While editing this video, I decided I should show this off. I think the marker feature is broken in Cadian Live currently, but you can use clip markers, add marker slash guide quickly. And this leaves a red line. And I can use star for that. And let's just quickly assign that. Marker, star, we're gonna set to S. And we're gonna reassign. S, S, S. So the assignment works fine. Even if there was a conflict, you get a warning and then it just overwrites. Let's assign it to S in Olive and try setting. All right, that also doesn't work. What about M? Also doesn't work. Uh, I think there might be a conflict with another key. Let's see, S. Set, yeah, set edit marker. No. Enable snapping. All right, let's uh, remove this. Okay, let's set it to delete and OK. So, right, so now S works. There is no warning about conflicts, but at least it works somehow. And if you create a conflict, then shortcuts don't work anymore. So both are buggy. As for scroll wheel, scrolling moves left to right and control scrolling zooms in and out. And it's the same in both of the applications. However, I believe Cadian Life does not have any configurability about that. While Olive allows to go to preferences and behavior. And here we can set scroll wheel zooms. Which means without control scroll wheel will zoom and with control it will move. And with control it will move left to right. This is actually more advanced than Premiere, which I believe does not allow configuring the mouse wheel behavior. I'm just going to go to Tools, Preferences, Keyboard and Reset All. And also reset this behavior. 
and let's see if Cadian Live allows resetting the keyboard configurations. Defaults. There we go. One thing that Olive is great at and Cadian Live is not is resetting the user interface. In Olive, you can just go to Window, Reset to Default Layout. And in Cadian Live, I believe there is no such setting. You would have to save the layout first and then restore it. My solution currently is to remove the KDN Live RC file, which is in the app data local folder, which also resets the style, which is buggy by default on Windows. And it crashes again. Okay, deleting the folder in app data roaming and app data local seems to help. All right, let's real quick look at some uh, other differences between the two editing tools. To be honest, there are a lot of things in Kadian Life I have never used in all the years of me using Kadian Life, and there are some tools in all of that I immediately recognized and love using. So as per usual, this might be very unfair. In all of, I can press Q, and everything on the left-hand side of the playhead will be deleted up to the next cut. If I do the same with W, I delete everything on the right-hand side of the playhead until the next cut. These are called Ripple to In Point and Ripple to Out Point, and I am such a fan of this feature. Cadian Life does not have it, or at least I could not find it. Another shortcut I love in Olive is Control K, which simply splits the timeline. Control K, everything is split. This combined with Q and W is extremely useful to me. I believe there is no equivalent in Cadian Life yet. If I understand correctly, Razor Tool needs to be used manually. The next thing to compare are installation file sizes. Kden Live takes 620 megabytes, while Olive takes 130. Very strange that this is possible. Actually, quite surprising to me. In Kden Live, actually, 200 megabytes are just Lumas files, which are color correction profiles, I believe. They are saved as uncompressed PGM files. So, because Olive simply doesn't have such, as far as I understand, I guess we can cut off 200 megabytes and 100 megabytes of translations in Cadian Life, I believe. And another 100 for the icons of the themes, apparently. Quite surprising, actually. I guess they're optimized for memory rather than storage space. All right, time to compare the most important thing for me in an editor when looking at two editors at the same time. I mean, after looking at the basics. And that would be the performance. And I'm not talking about render performance but I am talking about the performance of just displaying a video in the timeline and watching it in the project monitor. So we're just going to import 10 clips. I'm not going to bother with the details. And we're going to place them one on top of the other in the timeline. So while doing this, I noticed that Cadian Life automatically scaled clips to match the project size. I mean, width and height. Cadian Life required manual addition of tracks, which was especially annoying for audio tracks because I had to scroll up and down once the project became really wide, or rather high. Olive, on the other hand, auto-added tracks as needed, which was very convenient. I did change the project profile to make sure that they are the same resolution and frame rate in the two different applications. And Cadian Life crashed during this, but later it worked. So let's now compare the performance. And remember, Cadian Life scales the clips so that they match the project. This might mean that because of this, it will need more processing power. What I hope to see in this test is whether applications are smart enough not to draw videos on top of one another, even though they are not visible right now. Both of these videos are 29.97 frames per second projects in all of Ancadian Life, recorded on a 60 frames screen using a 50 frames per second camera, and I slowed down the footage to 50% speed, so we can actually look at each frame recorded but the video is playing back at half the speed. So this is an exaggeration, but it is noticeable how laggy Olive is in this situation. This video, by the way, showing the difference between Kidian Life and Olive, that one is 25 frames per second. Now we're looking at the Kadian Life preview, and I gotta say, it feels smoother. So maybe Kadian Life is optimized to forget about images behind the current one, or maybe there's some kind of pre-caching going on. All right, now let's take a look side by side on the left Cadian Life on the right Olive, still at 50% speed, so we see each recorded frame, and uh, still Cadian Life performing slightly better, both not great, by the way. And Cadian Life finishes sooner as well.
And now just a quick look at the same footage, but not slowed down by 50%. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to display all of these clips at the same time and see what happens when we try to play it back. I noticed that it felt like much more work in Olive to align all of these clips, while Cadian Life has buttons for left, bottom, right, top alignment. But in fact, it took the same time on both programs. And again, Cadian Life did pre scale all the clips, so that might make a difference. All right, back to the camera to compare the performance of these playbacks. Quite obviously, we don't even need to slow down to see all the frames to see how slow Cadian Life performs here. It is very, very laggy, and the whole playback is actually slowed down immensely. As the clips disappear, or rather end, there is not much of a performance increase noticeable. Once it's reduced to two clips only, I do notice a performance increase. Now Olive performs quite well in this situation. I didn't check how many frames get dropped, but compared to Cadian Life, which is what this video is about, it performs great. Now if we look at both at the same time, we can clearly see how Cadian Live is lagging behind playing back the actual video. So I got really curious why Olive is performing so much better. Next, after this, we're going to actually look at the system resource usage of the two applications. We're not even going to wait for Cadian Live to finish here. So, while we play this back in Kenyan Live, we can see a CPU usage of 54, 50%. Well, it was up to 60 earlier when there were more clips in the image. And it drops down to 11% when we don't play anything back. And if we switch to Olive, we just saw a spike of 100%. And now we play back and we see 80, 89, 85, 83. 81. Olive seems to be utilizing the CPU much more. Now what's really interesting is that Olive actually utilizes the GPU as well. We can see that it used up to nearly 60% of the GPU power to display this composition. This is an i5-6600, by the way. Now if we take another look at Cadian Life, we will see that the GPU is not utilized at all except for 2 to 4%, which might be idling, might be just QT doing something. 7, 8%, but definitely nothing compared to Olive. All right, finally, we're going to create two new projects and we're going to use 4K footage. All right, supposedly we are at the same resolution at frame right now. Okay, let's uh, scale this one down. What, what is this? I don't know what that is. What? What? <laughs> what? I guess we're gonna walk around it and just pretend nothing's wrong. Seems to be a bit more promising. All right, I'll get the camera and we will record the performance without OBS interfering. The lag is real in KDN Live. I wouldn't actually expect a video editor to perform with this setup at all well, but this is quite laggy. Olive, on the other hand, surprises with a smooth playback. I'm not saying it's perfect, there are some dropped frames definitely, but by comparison, it's super smooth. And if we play them back next to one another, you can see the difference even better. That GPU acceleration better come to Cadian Life soon. One more thing to compare would be that Cadian Life has many more transitions available currently. The wipe transition allows for a lot of wipe methods right now already. The last version of all of that I tried only had cross dissolve available. But there is another video showing how to make basic transitions. Let me know in the comments what was most useful in this comparison and what was lacking. What did I miss? Tell me. Please give this video a thumbs up if it was useful at all. 
subscribe to see my next video first, enable notifications for that, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!